Hello and welcome to Cities Skylines. This is a city building simulator and I'm very excited to get into this. I've played a little bit, maybe just under an hour, so I kind of know the buttons. That was all I was really going for. But this thing, this thing is great. This thing is so much fun already. This is very similar to something like SimCity, of course. Uh, however, there seems to be a lot a lot of extra stuff we can do. So you can, I mean, you'll notice straight away we've got Steam Workshop, and we've already got a ton of mods out for this game. I don't think it's been games have actually been out that long at all. Um, we've got a ton of different things and loads of cool stuff to play with. Uh, we will get to that, I am sure. I'm going to start a new game. Let's choose a place. I have looked for a few of these, and I think River Run was my favourite. So I think we'll go with that, and we'll make people drive on the correct side of the road. Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we are. We're inside of our city. Now, I'm going to pause this thing straight away and let's have a little look. So if I zoom out, we can get a proper look at our plot. I think this place looks quite good. I think we've chosen a good spot. Now, like I said, I have had a little look at this stuff, so I'm aware of most of these tips, but there's going to be a lot of stuff I don't know. However, I'm just going to go ahead and do this now. Oh, I'm going to turn down this volume as well because this is going to be a bit loud for me. Um... I'm going to be recording this very far in advance. Uh, I'm going to be recording this about three weeks in advance from when you actually see this. So, please do give me any feedback, comments, or anything like that, tips on how to actually play the game. But don't be mad when I haven't implemented it for the next video. I probably will catch up with myself at some point, and I'll make it very clear when I have, so we can sort of start doing things as a team. But, yeah, this is one of the only ways I can get around to doing videos if I do things like this. So, my plan then, my plan was this. This up here is going to be the main side of the city. The main city is going to be a, be a built around this kind of area. And then this side's going to be industrial and that kind of stuff. Uh, that's kind of what I'm going to go for. Um, and then over this side, maybe we'll have more expensive part, maybe some touristy stuff around the river. Uh, but I've had a little look at things like where the wind goes and stuff like that, and it seems like this is a sort of good area for industrial and things like that. So that's kind of the idea I'm going to go with. Uh, that's sort of my very, very, very basic plan, because that is about as much as I know about the game. Uh, I only really know the mechanics through SimCity mechanics, um, and I know there are separate games, but obviously they have quite a few similarities. So let's... Uh, Let's make a mark so we can get rid of it again. Uh, and that just actually... Uh, oh, that's not what I want to do. Doing that will allow me to use anything apart from that one piece of road. Uh, so I've seen I've seen a few people playing this game, and I've seen a few cool ideas. One thing I've liked a lot is the idea of having a roundabout towards the entrance. So as as the new people come in, there'll be a nice, nice way of dispersing traffic off in the right direction. So I'm going to go ahead and use a very similar... Tactic. So we're going to get this down here, and then I can get rid of these roads. Because we'll, we'll, we'll add our own in when we're ready. And then we'll go with one-way streets. So I'll have a road coming in, and a road coming out. Well, according to this, according to this I won't. This, is, this worked for me before. Maybe I need to play it and get it working. I might just need to keep relaying the roads until it works. I've I've done this before on the map I tried to play and it, it was fine. So we'll get we'll get back to that. We'll get back to that. Let's plan this area out a little bit. So this here's gonna be my my little village area. This is the first little town we're gonna build. I'm not aiming for as many people as I can fit into this square. I'm not aiming for the most profit per hour. I'm just aiming to make a nice nice little place that works and doesn't lose loads of money. So I'm just going to go with a basic kind of village. Once we've got that completely running and that's all fine, we're not losing money from it. Then maybe we'll expand and make a second village and so on. Uh, but I do have a sort of rough layout that I want to go for with most things. So let's grab the curved road or is it this road that I want? I think it's this road I want. Let's just, let's just start making some marks. I don't want too much going on just yet, but I do want some sort of curvy, curvy roads to go with. Let's go. Whoa, maybe not that big. These things can be quite expensive. Let's let's go let's go with that, and then let's get another road coming off here that goes around this way. Maybe like that. Yeah, why not? Let's do that, and let's get some more from around here. And uh, what, what can I do with this one? That's not too much. I guess I could. Yeah, yeah. Let's do that. Uh huh. Perfect. That'll do. That'll do. 
Let's get some roads in the center here as well so we can kind of connect this piece up a little bit. Now there are a lot of cool things for people who haven't played this game or aren't familiar with this game at all. There are a lot of cool things that we can do. A lot of things that we wouldn't be able to do in things like SimCity. So for example, we have the ability to build paths uh, that people will use instead of cars and things like that to help with traffic. There's a ton of extra little pieces in here that we can really go into detail with it, which is going to be a lot of fun. But that's 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 going to be my main little area for, for where we're going to start with the city then. So I think this area here will be our main downtown area, if we can call it that. Uh, and that's where we'll have most of the commercial and things like that. And then out here will be all the residents, all the people who live around. I feel like this bit here is a little bit wasted. You can see around all this edge here, this is where the zoning will go. I'm going to try and not explain too much. I don't want to go too into depth like a tutorial style thing because I don't know it well enough myself. Uh, but that's, that's kind of... That's kind of how it works. So I don't want too much of these gaps because I can't do anything in them. See, now we have a lot more space for stuff, which I think is the technical term. Let's get this down. Uh, that that would do for now. That would do for now. So let's let's zone a little bit then. So we're going to want a little bit of commercial, but let's get some of this first. So again, one of the differences we can do a few different things. So we can do a marquee where we can just select all that, and that will turn everything inside. We've got the paint bucket, which does the little sections but we've got these little paint brushes as well so we can just kind of draw on where we want to go I think it's awesome I think it's a really cool way of doing it so if we get some residents in around here then for now let's just go with that uh, for now let's just get a few people in a few people started because uh, we are gonna have to worry about things like electricity and water as well uh, and when we don't have infinite money it's probably best that we kind of just get things set up this way so let's have a look then. This is the windmill, and yeah, as I said before, I did have a little look at this kind of stuff. Wind's best in these dark areas, and I believe we can get eight somewhere around here. Yeah, eight's, eight is the highest I've seen, so we'll get an eight down here, and then we're going to need these. We're going to need these little power lines. Can I take this across the water? I can. I certainly can. Awesome. And then how am I going to work this out? That went green. I can do that. I can see this not working out too well. What's it not colliding with? I just, I feel like that's going to be in the way of some houses. What if I bring this out this way and then down here? How's that? And then maybe across? It's hard to tell what I'm going to want to do. I didn't think this far ahead. Otherwise, I wouldn't have put the power lines so far away. I could have just put a windmill up here, though, in all fairness. Uh, but there will be noise pollution, which is something we have to worry about. So maybe that wasn't too bad of an idea. Now, can I see which direction the stream is flowing? Perfect, I can. So we will have sewage and we will have a water pump. The water will take water to the village. The sewage obviously will take everything away from the village. Uh, however, we will dump it in the water. And I've seen most of the things I've seen people do to mess up is put, for example, they'll put a pump on this side of the water flow and then the sewage over here. So the sewage will just go through the pump and everyone gets sick and stuff. So we want to make sure that the sewage is this side. Let's get that in, and then the water pump we'll want this side. These things I believe you can move, so that's not too bad. And we'll take a pipe, and then we can connect. Let's make sure I've actually connected that. This is going to be a really expensive pipe, isn't it? Wow, 4K for a pipe. It's fine. Space already occupied, that's no problem then. And then we can connect this guy to this that, I believe, is all I need to do to get those connected. So this, these sort of cover the blue area, so as long as the houses build around here, that should be more than enough. And we can just add pipes as we need to, uh, as we expand. In fact, let's just get one pipe along here now, because I will make some of that area. Space already occupied, what do you mean? I want to come from the end. Is that allowed? Oh, I think it's because it's... yeah. So I have to kind of go around. We'll figure that out then, we don't need to do that right now. What we will do, I think, is hit play and maybe speed it up a bit. This little chirpy guy, I think it's he's pretty cool. You'll see his first power something. We missed it. What did it say? How plant's being constructed. Hashtag juiced up. Green energy is the best. I hope the mayor continues on this path of renewable. Your, your mayor will do very good things, I'm sure. Uh, let's see then. What are they doing? They are certainly building houses. People are moving in. And what is wrong with this? Oh, I guess it's not connected to anything. So we might need to... Uh, yeah... So we just need to get that within the blue section, I believe. So that would be enough. Is that correct? Yes. I believe it is. 
It's probably fine. It'll be fine. I'm not even sure they really need power. Let's have a look then. So we have economy now. Again, one of the differences, one thing we can do is we can allocate budgets. So for example, if we want to spend less on electricity, I can take the budget down to 50%, uh, but that will mean things aren't as efficient, so we won't get quite as much electricity for our money, or I can take it up to 150%. Uh, it will cost us more, but we'll get more efficiency from everything. So we can do that with pretty much anything. So budget cuts and stuff like that can be very precise, which I think is quite cool. It's definitely something we can look at. What's that? People, please connect your city to a highway. Oh, yeah, we still technically haven't done that, have we? Or do I need to... I don't need to connect this side, do I? I can connect this side. Let's let's get this working, because I, kn I know you can do this. I've done this before. It might be because they're on the wrong side. So this one's coming in. Maybe this one needs to go out. That would make sense. So the left one needs to be going out. Yes. And then this one comes in. Yes. Nailed it. Perfect. That is a very, very wonky roundabout. It's going to be fine. I kind of like it like that. I think I like it like I, I don't. It's fine. Let's speed things up a little bit. Where, where, Where is everybody? Let's go meet some people. Who have we got? So one thing we can do is name everything. Quadcopters becoming increasingly efficient for the delivery services. Sounds great. We can, we can name everything. So for example, we can rename this house if we want. We can rename people as they walk by. We can rename the, the whole town itself. I think it's, Rock, yeah, it's Rockfield at the moment. We can actually allocate little areas as well. So this here can have, be a little city with its own name, which I think is pretty awesome. So they want a lot of commercial and a lot of in, uh, industry at the moment. Let's get some commercial in then. I want this street here to be commercial, I think. Let's get that painted in around here and let's see that might be a bit too much but we'll we'll find out the hard way it'll be fine we've got info as well what's the info all about anything exciting in the info not just yet we can see how we're doing for this kind of stuff though that doesn't look very good at all why is that not very good at all uh these guys here haven't been touched but why did ah because i have not powered these things i see you can all stop shouting at me please Aha! I haven't powered these things. That would make a lot of sense. Let's do that then. Let's uh, pause time quickly because everyone's going to get angry. If you notice, you can now zone industrial. I have. Thank you very much, message. Let me just... Is that a good way to do this? No. That is. Probably not. It's fine. And then that looks like the most efficient way. That was all of my money. Perfect. Uh, let's have a look, because it looked like some of this stuff wasn't covered. Um, it is by electricity, not by water, though, so we will need to get a little more pipe. Can I do that without spending all my money? Yes, I can. How about now? How are we feeling now? Is everyone going to be happier now? I want people to be angry at me already. That looks good. That looks good. Let's have a little look, see if we can see. Let's go meet some people. Let's slow this down. Who rides this bike? Shirley Peters resides at the Glade residence. So this is what I mean. There's a lot of uh, a lot of in-depth detail, so we can see where they actually live, and we can see who lives in the house. We've got children, teens, and adults, all uneducated, um, and we can have a little look at them. Local government is the city planning to build more industry. Yes, I am, Mr. Unemployed Weld Welder Man. Um, I just haven't decided where yet. I wanted it to be down here. But now I'm wondering for the sake of money and roads, because we're losing a lot of money and I'm not sure what I'm spending it all on. Let's have a little look. What are we spending money on? Um, we just don't have a lot of income. In fact, we have no income. Well, we do, but not really much. So we could do with a bit more. We could do with some industrial. That would bring us in some money. So let's just zone some industrial. Let's just zone some industrial around this side. I mean, we can always remove it, right? Yeah, let's just do that. We can just get rid of it if we need to. Let's build up some industry over this side, and then maybe we can keep it here. Who knows? Who knows what we'll end up doing? I think that should be more than enough. Let's speed things up a little bit. All right. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Build some industry. So this little meter down here, then, is the meter that's telling me. It's telling me what demand. There is no demand for commercial or residential. High demand for industry and offices. And, of course, these guys will need power and water. But I have no money. But we are making money now. So there's... Oh, no. Look, they powered themselves. Wonderful. Very nice. What about a water pipe? How far will I have to drag that? Not too far. Not enough money. So it's going to cost about... 1500 by the looks of it. So they are going to have to wait. Um, 
I'm sure they won't mind. It'll be fine. At least they're there now, and they are making us some money. So, yeah, in a few hours' time, we should have enough to pull in the water. There you go. Hashtag quadcopters. Everyone seems to be all over these quadcopter things. What is a quadcopter? Is this the argument everyone's having about it, things not being drones, but they're quadcopters because there's a difference, apparently, uh, and people are getting angry about it? I've seen that a lot on the internet. People get very angry on the internet. Yeah, not, not right now, though. Not right now. So one thing we can do as well, which is a little bit different to uh, any other sort of city simulation building game, is we can expand outwards. So rather than buying another plot on the other side of here, we can actually just buy this area here next to it. And I believe we can do that for up to nine squares. So eventually we can just buy this area here. And there is some trains, so maybe that's worth doing. Um, we've got 1,500. Someone's... What are you complaining about, dude? Stephen Miller. What is it with the... Waterworks. Showering with bottled water is getting a bit expensive. If you're showering with bottled water, then I think you have bigger issues than no water at your residence. But here you go. In fact, you shouldn't be showering anyway. You should be at work. Not enough money. We can kind of almost, almost. Is that going to cover it? I think that covers it. I think that's fine. Who's this dude? What, what, what's the problems here? How do I find out? Not enough workers. There we go. Right, so you wanted lots of industry, and then when I built it, you told me there was no one that actually needed it. Let's get some residents down then. We've got some demand for residents. Where do we want to go? Should we keep following this around, or should we add here? I think this will be commercial, so let's keep following this around. Let's see, uh, let's get some new people in. Yeah, those, those power lines do seem to be taking up space that I would like to give to people. I'm going to have to reconsider the way we've done that, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll make the most of it. People don't seem to mind living there, so I guess it'll probably be okay. We don't have enough power now, which is perfect, and water doesn't cover everybody. This is getting very expensive. <gasps> What's this? Congratulations! Little Hamlet. Have they renamed my town? I don't like that name. Population of 460. That's a really weird number for a girl, but I'll take it. I like, I like achievements and goals. We did it. We did it. I think we win. I think we've won SimCity 6. We've unlocked taxes and loans, we've unlocked garbage, healthcare and education, and we've unlocked a few new buildings as well. Now I remember this, because I know how this works. Just as we finally start to make money, they give us a hundred things that everyone's going to complain about until we spend all of the money we've made on those new things. So, we'll get onto garbage and healthcare, I'm sure, and education will become an issue soon enough that we'll need to get onto there. But let's have a little taxes, maybe we can make some more money on taxes, let's do that. Thinking like a mayor already, we can take some loans, but I want to look at this. We can up our taxes. So let's do that. Let's let's hit commercial and industry first. Let's get those so people are happier. And let's have another look because we needed to move some of these out, didn't we? Yes. Uh, let's just do that. It'll be fine. And uh, what else did we need to do? Did we need to do power? There's something else. There's something I needed to do. I swear. Ah, oh, we needed more power. That's what it was. We need more of these windmills. Is it worth buying this guy? How much is that? 19k. It cost me 500 per week. I can't really, if I can just about afford that, but I can afford this guy easier, so let's just sort of drop this guy in here. Is that okay there? Perfect. Have we got enough now? Yes, we do. Hmm, should we buy another? I think I'll wait until it becomes a bigger issue, but... What, what are you guys complaining about? Why don't you have... Oh, it's because there wasn't enough, but now there is. Plenty of water, plenty of sewage, plenty of everything. Well, I'm going to... Go into my little cinematic mode that seems to make everything lag really badly. Yep, that is terrible. <laughs> every time I enter, every time. But let's look, let's have a little look around. I think I'm going to call this episode there. I think we're at a nice place now where we're ready to to cool this off. We've got ourselves a nice little bit of residency coming on around here. We've got a little commercial zone building up, and we've got some industry going over here. The power line needs to be sorted, uh, and I'm sure there's a hundred other things I've done wrong that you guys are shouting at me about, but like I said, don't be mad when I don't do anything. Who is this dude in a hot dog? That is pretty awesome. Can't see his name, though. There's... Okay, that's fine. Don't worry about that. Yeah, uh, this will be very far in advance, so don't shout at me. I've probably already fixed it. Well, no, I know I probably haven't fixed it. I've probably realised what I've done uh, and given up and stopped playing this game forever because I suck. But yeah, if you do like this game, if you're enjoying this game, do go pick it up. It's actually a lot of fun. Uh, go ahead and let me know. Just because I won't be taking suggestions as such for the next episode doesn't mean I won't want to hear what you guys are thinking of the series and whether it's worth me continuing in the future to catch up with myself. That is a huge building. 
You chill thing. But yes, thank you very much for watching. I do hope that you have enjoyed yourself. Of course, if you have, do all the good stuff. And yeah, I'll see you next time.